everybody, Kurt Zepp here. Well, as many of you guys may know or may not know, I am planning to move out to Santa Fe, New Mexico next year after I retire. This is going to be my last teaching year. And I don't want to bring all the stuff. The less stuff we have, the better. So I want to get rid of some stuff, but what stuff to get rid of? So let me go through all my mounts and telescopes because those are the big things. I've got a lot of other peripheral stuff. If you look at that wall over there, all that stuff is cables and all this other stuff. That's small and I can sift through that. But my large stuff, the telescopes and mounts are the things that I want to see. What do I really use? What do I not use? So I'll go through each piece of equipment first and I'll put my thoughts. And if you have your own thoughts, share them with me on the comment section below. Okay, let's go take a look. Okay, this is the first mount that I ever bought. My first go-to mount, that is. It's the Orion Cirrus EQG, and it's been a workhorse. It's been a wonderful mount. I've had it for over 11 years now, maybe 12. It has a 30-pound weight capacity. That's about 14 kilograms. And as I said, it's been wonderful. I did replace the original saddle for it and we're within with an upgraded adm saddle i'm leaning towards bringing this with me and that is because i don't know if i'd get the money to sell it and it's not that much space uh, not only that uh the reason is i don't know if anybody would really buy it or i'm not sure how much to sell it for knew these things were like fifteen hundred dollars but they don't even make this particular model anymore in fact uh, orion is out of business uh, this is equivalent to Skywatcher's HEQ-5 mount, which they do sell. But again, uh, I haven't done any upgrades on the interior, but I I'm leaning towards keep it, but I could be persuaded to sell it as well. What do you think? I liked that Cirrus mount so much, when I went to get my next mount, I went uh, more robust, and this time I got the Atlas Pro mount. And this has been a workhorse as well. I love it. And it can actually hold my Celestron 8-inch edge, and it does a wonderful job. This is about five years old, five or six years old, and it's very easy to polar line if you have to do that. Uh, it's got big knobs on it. It just, it's really, really, it's been a great mount. So I'm going to keep this. I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep this one. Okay, so my next uh, go-to mount that is that I purchased was the ZWO AM3. I love this mount too. This is actually fairly new. It's a couple of years old. It's a great portable setup and it doesn't take up that much space. So I'm definitely keeping this mount. Along the way, I purchased this Ioptron Skyguider Pro. It's a portable mount and it really, it's, it's helped out. It's good for cameras. If you just want to go out and take quick images, it's not a go-to mount, but you can do plate solving with it if you do it right. I'm liable to keep this because this is really portable. I've actually gotten this on a suitcase and stuff. So I don't think this is going to take up much room. So I'm, I'm tempted to keep this thing as well. This is a really neat mount from Explore Scientific. It's their Twilight 1 or Twilight 2, can't remember. It can hold a lot of weight. It's actually just, it's not a go-to or anything like that. It's not, it's all mechanical. It's very solid. It does weigh a lot and it does take up a lot of space. It's kind of handy to have, but do I need to carry it across the country with? I'm open to selling this one because it just weighs so much. How often do I use this thing? Not very often at all. Okay, so that was it with my mounts that I have. Now let's go take a look at the telescopes and we'll see what you think on that. Okay, so this here is my original astrophotography telescope. It's the Orion ED80. It's f7.5, it has a focal length of 600 millimeters and it's 80 millimeters in diameter. It was a really good scope. I had a lot of good use out of it. I actually replaced the focuser, the original focuser, with the Moonlight Dual Speed Focuser. I'm at a crossroads with this, whether to sell it or not. So it was a good scope. I had a lot of good use out of it for a number of years, but then I replaced it. And when I replaced it, I, this telescope ended up just sitting around collecting dust. That is until I purchased this thing, which is my Daystar Quark. And this is, I reactivated this scope and it's now my solar telescope. 
and that has been working really well. So that's why I don't know whether I should sell this or not. What I could do is sell this telescope and actually maybe sell my Daystar Quark. And after I move, buy a dedicated solar telescope like a Lunt or Skywatcher has some models out there now as well. So anyways, that's, that's where I'm at with this. I don't know, what do you guys think? Okay, you're now looking at my main imaging scope. It's the AstroTech 115. It's been a great scope. I, I love this scope. I am gonna keep it, I believe. It's done wonders. It's a triplet. I've got the focal reducer on it. It sits on top of my Cirrus mount. So the Cirrus mount can handle this thing pretty well, but it's at its limit. Uh, I'm definitely keeping the scope, and I'm probably going to keep this mount, but I'm still open to selling it. Okay, the next scope I have here is the little Orion Short Tube 80, and this is only 400 millimeters focal length. It's actually, I don't know if it's a doublet or it's probably a singlet. I don't know what it is. It's not an expensive scope. I did replace it with an after-the-market scope stub dual-speed focuser, and I think the, I think this is probably worth more than the telescope. But I'm well. I'm probably going to sell this thing. I don't really need to to bring this with me. It's small. It's compact. But it's you know I don't really use it. I did use it. it uh, believe it or not, this was my original guide scope for my ED80. So that's why I purchased this thing. I purchased this as a guide scope. It's uh, it's pretty amazing. But uh, okay, you're now looking at my Celestron Edge HD8 and. I purchased this a few years back, about four years ago, and I've I've grown to like it. I was imaging with the 0.7 focal reducer that came with came well, that Celestron included in the package, but now I've actually taken that off and I'm just shooting straight, and I've got an off-axis guider, and I've got the uh, stars looking real good on it. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna keep this. Okay, and now we're at my Ascar 300 FA, and this, this scope's been really, really good. It's small, it's compact, and I'm going to keep this. I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep this. It would probably be worth a lot to sell it, but it's also, it doesn't take up that much room. And I've got it on my AM3 mount, and it's highly portable, which is also a plus. So it really makes sense to keep this telescope. This scope is my little Orion Fun Scope, and it's a cute little scope. Uh, it doesn't cost that much. I think I paid like 50 or $60 for it, and I think that's the, the going price these days. You can get them online. Uh, everybody makes them. It's not just Orion. It sort of sits on like a Dobsonian mount. You know, I like it. You can put it on your tabletop, a picnic table. So I'm going to sell this probably at a little, we're going to have a yard sale in a couple months or a couple weeks, so I'll probably sell it then. The one good thing about this one is, is it's got a 1.5 inch uh, eyepiece holder, which is actually kind of good because you can actually put good eyepieces in here and you'll get a much better image. And then if you do get into astrophotography and you happen to buy some good eyepieces, you can use them on your new scope that you buy. Okay, last but not least, this is my... Orion 8-inch Newtonian telescope and it's actually was my was going it's supposed to be my original astrophotography telescope that was supposed to go on my Orion Cirrus mount but unbeknownst to me at the time anyways this telescope was not a good fit for that mount for astrophotography it was too much weight for that mount to handle for doing astrophotography it would be okay for visual use but not for any type of astrophotography use i didn't know anything about that at the time when i purchased it i got it as a package deal 12 years ago when i was first getting into it so i soon learned that this was not the right scope for that so i took it off and i got my ed80 in place and that was my that turned out to be my original astrophotography scope and this thing sat in a closet for a number of years when I had the bright idea, well, why not build a homemade Dobsonian base? And that's what I did. And so that's what I use this for. And it's actually really good for outreach stuff and doing visual stuff. And I like it. And that's what I use it for. But they got better, um, more compact Dobsonian type telescopes these days. Although I really am proud of the workmanship that I did making the base and all that, it's really... It takes up a lot of space. It doesn't break down any more than what you see here. So it's really not too compact. And I'm probably not going to bring this. I'm going to try to sell this uh, here at home because it would be a pain in the neck to uh, try to move it. 
So Okay, folks. Well, there you have it. So don't want to get rid of anything, but, you know, it's probably a good idea to get rid of some stuff. And if I can find some place to where it does somebody else some good, all the better. And it saves me from carting stuff across the country. Please put down your thoughts if you got any, if you or just want to agree with the, my choices to what stuff to get rid of, or if you have some other thoughts, I'd be interested to hear them. Thank you very much for tuning in, and we'll see you sometime.